time Jesus was speaking to some religious people, they're pretty regular churchgoers and our equivalent. He quoted Isaiah 29, Matthew 15, verse 8 and 9 is where it's located. He says, these people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. They're not engaged. They worship me in vain. That's the result. Their teachings are merely human rules. For this intimacy to happen, it involves honesty, it involves confessing and saying it's some of what Michelle was talking about earlier. Knowing he knows everything about you. Confess in, in the Greek is homologeo, a homo, the same legeo to speak. You're not informing God of anything, you're just agreeing with him. What's keeping, what's inhibited your intimacy? Is it maybe sin or is it a schedule or is it something as supposedly innocent as a smartphone? Would you confess that to him right now and say, I'm sorry? I'm sorry I've just gone through the motions. Maybe even today you went through the motions. You say, I don't want to do that anymore. Tell him that right now. And know he, he's ready with open arms. Lazarus, the guy whose funeral Jesus crashed. Mary, Martha, that whole gang. One time he was at their home. And Martha spent all her time just doing the busy stuff, really good stuff. Mary sat at his feet to listen, to commune, to be intimate with him. Uh, here, listen to what Jesus says. This is in Luke 10, verse 41. Martha, Martha, the Lord answered, you're worried and upset about many things, but few things are needed, or indeed only one, and Mary has chosen. Mary's chosen what is better, and it will not be taken away from her. Mary's chosen intimacy right now. There are times for you to be doing what you've been doing, but 
the most important is choosing intimacy. So you just confessed a lack of intimacy that we all know. Resolve with him and say, I want to choose intimacy with you this week. Might be through some quiet times. Might through, be through turning, listen to one less podcast. Might be uh, carving out time in the course of your busy day to just say, Jesus, I love you. But choose right now. Establish. I want to choose what is better. And I know that will not be taken away. I choose intimacy. I choose life. to stand right now. Don't get your stuff, just, just stand. You're in the presence of the one who has pursued you your entire life. Psalm 46.10 says, so in the midst of whatever you're dealing with, in this case, it was the waters falling into the sea, the mountains falling into the sea, the waters foaming. That's hurricane. Maybe it was a heart hurricane, but he says, be still. And know me. Know that I'm God. Relate with me. Psalm 23 says, The Lord's my shepherd. I'm not going to be in want as a result because he, he will make me lie down in green pastures. He wants to lead me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. Uh, the psalmist says several times, Lord, we seek your face. When I seek someone's face instead of their hands, I'm seeking them for who they are, not just what they do for me. So right now, before we leave, we're gonna take 90 seconds, two minutes. So please don't leave. It's, it's why he got you here. And what I'd like to ask you to do is change positions. It could be you just doing this. <laughs> or it could be you going to another part of the sanctuary. It could be you coming up front. It could be you getting out in the aisle and kneeling. It could be you sitting back down could be you changing your body. So do something that says, I, and a bodily posture is, it makes a difference. It said, I want to go to a different place in my intimacy with you this week. Be intimate with him and just say, Jesus, you know me. I mean, you got a phone call. It's him. Interact with him just for a couple of minutes and I'll give you the benediction. Change your posture, change your position. Come up front, kneel, raise hands, sit back down, go somewhere and say, I wanna be in a different place in my intimacy with you.
Just want you. 